this is the fraction video part two. So I would like to make some of these little strips. Doesn't need to be green, it can be white. Any paper can you make some strips. Now hopefully they look exactly the same. So I have some here. So I'll quickly stop the video. Can you quickly pause the video and let's see if you can find some of these. Okay, I quickly make one eighth. So let's quickly write this one. Remember, this is called denominator. This is called numerator. I'm going to cut the whole cake, this carrot cake, into eight equal pieces, and I take one of them. So I fold in half and half again. Maybe I can. Maybe I'll go this way. So when I open it, I have eight. That's half. This is, I can get quarters. Then I can make one, I can make eight. There you go. So I have, let's quickly make this. So I cut a whole orange poppy seed cake into eight equal pieces. One of them is called one eighth, right? I have another eighth here. I have another eighth here. I have another eighth. I have another eighth. Here's eighth. This is one eighth. This is also one eighth. So, quick question. How many pieces, how many eighths do I need to make one whole cake? So let's quickly pause the video. What's your answer? So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course, because I cut the whole cake into eight equal pieces, I need eight of those little pieces to make one whole cake. So I have one eighth. That's one eighth. Uh, one eighth. Two eighths. Three eighths here. I have one eighth, two eighths, three, four eighths there. That's four eighths. Cool. I'll have more. So I cut this in half, in half again. They're all equal. Then I'm going to cut this again. So I have some of these eight pieces here. Now I take some out, let's take some out. So if I put these all together, I wonder how many ace do I have? So let's quickly, I'm going to separate these and I you can pause the video. Let's see what I have here. Mm. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13 eighths. I have 13 eighths here. So if this is 13 eighths. Now, is 13 eighths larger than whole cake? Or smaller than whole cake? What do you think? And how much larger? See if you can pause the video and you can say your response, write your response, or you can think about it. So let's quickly make a whole cake. So I can make a whole cake by putting these together there you go another eighth another eighth then another eighth that's a whole cake because eight eight pieces we need eighth eight eighths to make one whole cake. Then I have one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, and five eighths left. Now we can rewrite this. This is one whole cake. That's there, one whole cake, and five eighths, right? 13 eighths and one whole cake and five eighths of cake it's the same thing right so now we're going to use these let's take this away we are going to make now you're going to make you are going to make lots and lots of eighths let's see if you can go half half and one half of that again let's see if you can make eight so you fold the paper in half fold it again and fold that again to make one eighth two eighths three eighths four eighths so i'm going to cut this into eight well, it's your turn. So let's make these one eighth or eight pieces. Right, activity is exactly the same as the last one. So I have some pieces. This is each one is one eighth of a whole cake. It's a long strip cake, remember? Now have you made some too? So I quickly just show you some. I take this many. If I have eight of these little pieces, that makes a whole cake. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's put this here. That's one whole cake. Then I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So the same as the last time. Thirteen eighths is, is exactly the same as one and five eighths. See if you can make some of these or more. See, if you can put some of these together and take some out and you can make a this, we call the improper fraction to this type of fraction. We call the mixed numeral. So, for example, this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 14 eighths. I wonder what it is when you change to the whole and a fraction, this kind of number. 
Now it's your turn. So I have quite a few, I have a lot of eighths here. Remember this is just one eighth. Remember I have, if I have eight pieces of these, I can make the original whole cake. So I wonder, this is clearly more than a whole cake. I wonder how many holes I can make and how many left over. So you can have a look. What do you think? Do I have, let's say, two whole cakes? Can I make, can I make three? Can I make four? So let's quickly pause the video. What do you think? So I have two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. I have 27 eights here. So that right, 27 eights. I wonder how many whole cakes I can make. Two, three, I can make the whole cake right here. Eight, that's one whole cake, right? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, that's another whole cake. Then I can make a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have three whole cakes and three eighths left. It's not three left, it's three eighths left. I have three whole cakes and three eighths this is three and three eighths right now see if you can make this change by yourself with your little pieces that was part two